In today's video, I'll be trying to break into a car using a tennis ball, finding yet another way to pick a combination lock, finding out if highlighter can really remove permanent marker from your skin, putting a picture of a cat on my wall, plus more things you guys dared me to do in the comment section. In the last video, I asked you guys to tell me what your hope is for the future. And your comments genuinely make me terrified for the future, which is also a common reaction when people watch my videos. So it looks like we're all in this together, I think. But since you guys came up with so many comments, I thought I'd ask another question. What is the last thing you search for on the internet? And I know you guys have some weird search histories, but if not, be creative with your answers and put whatever you can come up with in the comment section. I'll be featuring 10 of my favorite comments in next week's video. But before we get started, I wanted to give a quick shout out to today's sponsor, which is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes in business, design, and a whole lot more. Premium membership gives you unlimited access to high quality classes on must know topics. So you can improve your skills, unlock new opportunities, and do the work you love. I actually think the graphic illustration class looks pretty interesting. I mean, whether you're just starting out or you're an experienced illustrator, you'll walk away with a more considered, thoughtful approach to your work, as well as learning techniques to add to your stylistic repertoire. And it's taught by famed illustrator Olympia Zignoli, so Pretty cool. Skillshare is also more affordable than most learning platforms out there. An annual subscription is less than $10 a month. And since Skillshare is sponsoring this video, the first 500 people to use the promo link in the description will get their first two months for free to try it out risk-free. And now we'll finally be finding out if it's possible to unlock a car door with a tennis ball. For this next part in today's video, what we're gonna be doing is drilling a hole into a tennis ball. There's been a lot of talk online that you can get into a car door that is locked using a tennis ball. All you have to do is put a hole in it and then press the hole against the lock and the air being forced into the lock will actually push open the pins which unlocks the vehicle. And I just don't know about that. I think maybe it could work, but I am a huge skeptic of any life hack that looks too good to be true. Not to mention that this would just be a particularly easy one to fake. All you'd have to do would be have somebody stand off camera and press a button and then boom, it made it look like it worked. But I just don't know if it would really work, but I'm gonna really try my heart out and so if it does, does, we'll know. After this doesn't work, I'll let my dog destroy these tennis balls. That should be perfect. So right now, what we're gonna do is try to use this tennis ball to unlock this car door. Nothing. For this next life hack, I'm gonna be showing you guys a much more simple way of picking a combination lock. In the last video, I showed you guys how to pick a lock using a soda can, which took me a very long time, but it did work. But if you absolutely have to have your locker open right now, I have something that's even better. It's called remembering the combination. But if you forget that, you can try this. In the last video, I showed you guys how to pick a lock using only a soda can, which for me is quite an accomplishment because I can barely get this thing open even if I know the combination. But to be able to pick it is just something I didn't think I'd be able to do. So now I'm gonna be attempting something else I don't think is going to work, but it should also get the lock open if it does. Now I've seen a lot of people saying online that if you hold your wrenches together and stick them inside of the lock, that just with a little bit of pressure, you can actually break it. I'm not 100% sure that's gonna work. Now I would imagine it would probably take some pretty strong wrenches to not break because I I don't know what's gonna break first, the lock or these wrenches, or if I'm even strong enough to break it anyways. Uh, I've never attempted this before, but I feel like we should give it a shot. So that's what I'm gonna do. And if I break these wrenches, then that's just the way that goes. Oh my God, that worked. Okay. Um, well, I would imagine that this is probably broken now. The lock is latched, so if the combination still works, then this is actually picking the lock. It's not even breaking anything. And the lock still works. That's crazy. How did that even work? I'm gonna have to try to look at that frame by frame. I cannot believe that that actually worked. That's crazy. And it didn't break the lock. In short, those combination locks are pretty much useless. Apparently you can pick them with wrenches or soda cans or God knows what else. Look, in short, I would tell you guys not to keep anything valuable in your locker. Don't even put your books in there. And that being said, we'll be on to the next life hack. For this next life hack, we're gonna be making a picture hanger while I blabber on about root beer. As I get older, I realize a few things. And one of those things is that I like root beer. I used to never drink this stuff. Now I really like it. 
Something else that I've realized is that it's difficult to go without good cat art. And this isn't good cat art, but it's cat art and I kind of like it and therefore it's going to go on my wall. I was in a store and saw this and realize this kitty needs a home. So for this next life hack, what I'm gonna be showing you guys is how to hang a picture on your wall using a soda tab instead of a normal picture hanger, which costs money. Soda costs money too, but if you're already buying soda, it could save you a little bit. That being said, this life hack is pretty simple, so I'll just show you how I do it now. But seriously, I don't know what happened. My taste buds just changed, and now all of a sudden, out of nowhere, I like root beer. So what you're gonna wanna do is take your root beer and rip the tab off. Well, that did not come off perfectly, but I think it'll be okay. Next, we're gonna take our cat picture and flip it over. Then we take the soda tab and place it right about there. Then using this tiny screw and this tiny screwdriver, I'm going to try to put this in place. And the end result should look something like that. It was at this point that I realized it really didn't need to be a soda tab. You could actually probably just use anything. So now I guess we'll find out what this thing looks like on the wall. Perfect. I had to throw in at least one cat pun. And that being said, we'll be on to the next life hack. For this next life hack, we're gonna be determining if it's actually possible to remove Sharpie from your hand using a highlighter. This life hack has been floating all around the internet, but as many times as I've heard the claim that this would actually work, I've never seen it do the job that they claim that it can. And so what we're gonna be doing is putting this to the test. Okay, I guess I've said all I wanna say. Now hopefully these highlighters actually remove this permanent marker from my hand like they claim that it will in all the life hack videos. So what's crazy is obviously I still have to wash my hand, but what I wrote is completely illegible. And I'm pretty sure if I just go wash my hands off, that would probably do the trick. Otherwise, I bet if you let this sit for a little while, it'll never come off. But let me go give it a rinse and we'll see if that did the job. So after rinsing my hand off and doing nothing else, this is what we're left with. It's definitely left a mark on my hand. Uh, I'm gonna try to just wipe it off. Yeah, that's not, that's not that great of a fix. You can still see a smudge on my hand from where that was. I'm gonna give this life hack like a C minus because there's still a very obvious ink blot on my hand from doing this and I had to wash my hand off and wipe it down with a paper towel just to get it this good. It was supposed to completely clean the permanent marker off my hand and uh, so looks like I just wrote on my hand for no reason. But at least I did it so you guys don't have to. And that being said, we'll be on to the next life hack. For this next part in today's video, what I'm gonna be doing is showing how to make a template so you can hang random things on your wall, such as this surge protector. It's just a really easy way to make sure that when you hang it up, it hangs perfectly. That is, if I do it right. So right here, you can see the two different hangers there are on the back of this surge protector. Now while holding this still, making sure that it doesn't move about while I'm writing on it, and it doesn't need to be necessarily that straight either, I'm just going to fill in where those little holes are. And if I press my finger up against it, it kind of even shows up through it anyways. So this will be very easy. Trace those holes out. It's a little bit sloppy, but I can see it. And then without moving the paper at all, you gotta find the other one. And that's that. So now I can just hang this paper on the wall and I'll know exactly where to hang my surge protector. We're just gonna take some tape and the tracing that we just made and tape this onto the wall and put our screws in. Always make sure to see if it's level. And notice that I'm not checking to see if the paper is level, I'm checking to see if the tracing that I made is level. That's the important part. And that looks just about perfect to me. Then I put the screws in right through the paper. Now ordinarily you just tear it off at this point, but I really want to make sure that it's going to fit before I do that, so I'm just going to place this on here and hopefully it works. Perfect! That's awesome! Okay, now I'll do the fun part. And I am pretty proud of that. It is sitting very level against the wall right now, so that is awesome. And I'm sure this space is gonna be pretty useful as a charging station from now on. And that being said, we'll be on to the next life hack. So if you found this video useful or if you just enjoyed watching it, make sure to leave it a like. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and bell me for notifications if you'd actually like to see the videos. And of course, I'll be seeing you guys in just a few days with a new video. All right, thanks guys, bye.